Hi there, and welcome to the QImage Ultimate instructional video on Hot Folders. Hot Folders is a new feature found in the 2015 edition that will allow you to create hot folders that can be accessed through the network so that users connected to the network can just drop images in various size folders and queue them up in QImage Ultimate and even print from remote devices. So once you create your hot folder, let's say on your hard drive, and you mark that folder as shared so that people on the network can see that folder, you can print from any device, including Macs, smartphones, a Linux machine. Basically, anyone that can access those hot folders can queue prints and start printing from their device. So let's take a look at how this works. If I click on the file menu, we'll notice that there is a new item called hot folder. Before we turn hot folder monitoring on, we'll go to setup so that we can set this feature up. In the hot folder setup dialog here, we have a lot of verbiage that tells you how to set up your printer and how the hot folder system works, but I can break it down for you simply in two steps. The first step is to create a hot folder, and in this case I'm creating the hot folder on my hard drive, share that folder, and then step two is to start hot folder monitoring, which is done if you follow my mouse cursor up here. This button will actually start the monitoring of the hot folders. So that two-step process will allow you to run the hot folder system by just having a single Windows machine on your network running QImage Ultimate with the hot folder monitoring turned on and then you can actually print through QImage Ultimate from any device and I'll show you how to do that in a second. When you first open this setup dialog your hot folder location is going to be blank because you won't have selected one yet. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You would go to this little dot 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 button here that says choose or create a hot folder location so when I click that, you will probably get your user's directory or someplace like that because there's nothing in the box. Right now it's going to the one that I already have in there. But on my C drive, I selected my computer and then the C drive and then shared because shared is a folder that I already have set up for sharing across the network. And under that folder, I clicked the Make New Folder button here typed in, and I'll just show you now by doing a different name, Hot Folder 2, press enter so that it accepts that. That one's already there uh, from a previous video, so <clears throat> I'll just name it Hot Folder 3, just to show you how this works. Now Hot Folder 3 is selected. When I click OK, then it accepts that into this Hot Folder location. And then you would click OK to accept that location that you just chose. I'm not going to do that because I already had the one that I wanted set up, so I'm going to click cancel here. Um, <clears throat> once you have your hot folder location set up, then all you have to do is turn on monitoring, which is this button right here. If you click this button, it will turn hot folder monitoring on, and QImage Ultimate will start monitoring the hot folders. Now let's take a look at what these hot folders look like. When you set up the hot folders, you'll notice that it creates some subfolders based on size. And I'll right click on this button because that's a shortcut to get to the setup if you right click on this monitoring button. And we're back in the setup screen. If I click on this explore hot folder button, it takes us to the hot folder and you can see the folder structure that it created. QImage Ultimate has created a subfolder under hot folder that has a couple specialized folders up here at the top and it has all the print sizes that show up in your print properties dialog in this little zebra button right here. These are all the sizes that show up plus fit to page and original size. So we'll talk about these two directories at the top here in just a little bit but let me show you how this works back to QImage Ultimate, I'll close this setup window. If I Now that I have my hot folder location set, when I left click 
a normal click on this monitoring button, it says hot folder monitoring is now on, and QImage Ultimate is monitoring all those folders that I just showed you for incoming files, for new files. So again, let's take a look at how it works. I'm going to go over to a folder that I already have ready here. It's got a few random JPEGs in it. I'll select these JPEGs, right click and do copy, or you can do control C, whatever you prefer. And then I'll go over with Explorer and keep in mind this could be anyone on the network. It could be somebody on another computer or on a Mac or even a smartphone accessing these folders. I'm just showing you from this computer for the uh, purposes of this demonstration. So I'll just go into the 5x7 folder here, open that folder. There's nothing in it currently. And I'll control V, which is paste, or I could do it this way. Paste. When I paste those four JPEGs in here, watch what happens. They go into the folder and immediately they go out. Now, when they go out of the folder, it means QImage Ultimate has accepted those files and it's queued those files up. So let's go back and we'll see that those four images have been placed into the queue. So it's as simple as that. We go to the size folder that we want and we drop the images and they end up in the queue at that size. Now you might say, well, as soon as I put them in here, they disappear within a second or two. Where do they go? Well, the answer is, let's back up to the main hot folder. There is a folder here called Processed. And if you click there, you can see all the images in here that have been processed. I had done one earlier, so there's five in here now. These images, when you add them to hot folders, they'll stay in this processed folder until you delete them. So after a while, if a lot of images are collecting in here and you don't need them anymore and you know you won't be able to recall jobs with those images if you delete them, you know you don't need that, then you can go in here and, and sort by date, clean up the files, delete some old ones, whatever you want to do. And again, let's go back here. You can access that just with a right click on this button and click here to explore the hot folder and then you can go into process and clean these up or do maintenance on that, whatever you want to do. Um, okay, let's go back to the hot folder. And the other specialized folder we have here is one called Actions. You may have noticed that when we were looking at these earlier. If we go into Actions, we can see that we have some actions available here. Let's go over the, the simple one first called Status. If you double click that to open it, it'll open in whatever um, notepad or whatever text file editor you have. And it brings this up and you, it'll give you some stats about what is happening in QImage Ultimate right now. Because remember, you could be in another building, another room, another state, anywhere using this system. So just by bringing up this status, you can tell that there's four images in the queue. You can see the paper size. The print crop is off right now, so it gives you some information about the status of what's going on with the hot folder monitoring system. The other things that you can do is you can turn crop on or off. You can actually start printing. You can clear the queue, and I'll show you how these work. It's mentioned in the file name, but to use these features, you simply delete the file. So if we go back into this status, we can see that crop, the print cropping is disabled right now, it's turned off. So if I go to this turn print crop on, hit delete on my keyboard and delete that file, you'll notice that after a couple seconds the file will come back and that means that that command has been accepted. Now let's open status now. Print crop is on. So these are some actions that will be really helpful for you to operate the interface just by deleting these files. So going back to QImage Ultimate, we still have these four images in here that we wanted. And I can actually click on this file here that says delete to start printing. And I'll press delete on the keyboard, say yes, and then we'll go back to QImage Ultimate. And I have my printer turned off right now, which is why this dialog comes up. But as you can see, it started printing. So you can actually start printing 
from just using the hot folders as well. Now I'm going to cancel this and I'll close this dialog here because we don't need it. Going back here again, you notice that after it printed that, it cleared the queue. So that's the way that this is going to work. If you initiate printing the way that I just did through the hot folder system, then the queue will be cleared when it's done printing and you'll be ready to do more. Now when we go back in here now, it's done printing, the queue is clear, and you'll notice there's two files missing. The one that said start printing and the one that said clear queue. Well, you can't clear the queue because there's nothing in it. And you can't start printing because there's nothing in the queue. So if you see that those two files are missing, you could click on status if you want and see that there is zero in the queue. But those files will disappear when it doesn't make any sense to use them. Now just quickly going back to this crop on and crop off. This crop on and off is the same as this button right here, auto cropping. So basically by using those features that turn crop on and turn crop off, all you're doing is this. You're basically clicking this button remotely. So what that means is if you want one 8x10 with no cropping and one with cropping, you would have to delete this file right here. Let's delete it. And it'll come back in a couple seconds. That means that cropping is off now. We could verify here if we wanted to. Now when we drop a 5x7 in here, the, the cropping will be off. So you have to do it before you add the print. That's my point. So let's go here and turn it back on again. Delete this file and we know that's going to turn crop back on. When it comes back, we'll know that that's our acknowledgement. Now crop is on. You can verify it here if you want. On. And now, after you've turned crop on, you can go to the 5x7 folder, drop an image in here, and that image will be a cropped 5x7. So that's how that works. I'll just show you one more thing here, really quick. Go back into the Actions folder. If we go into QImage Ultimate, and we turn the hot folder monitoring off. Now hot folder monitoring is off. Now even if people drop images into these folders here, nothing's going to happen. They'll just stay in the folders until you turn the hot folder monitoring back on in QImage and then they'll be taken in. But what I wanted to show you is with it off, if you go into actions, there's nothing in there. There can't be any actions if the hot folder monitoring system is off. So if you go in the actions and it's empty, you know that you need to go over to your QImage Ultimate machine and turn it on because it must be off right now. Uh, finally, the interface here still works as it normally does. You could have somebody, you could have the hot folder monitoring turned on and somebody could uh, go into the 5x7 folder on the network here and they could drop an image in here. Uh, we dropped four images in here. You can still operate the interface here. It's sort of like two users being able to operate the interface. So I could go to this image right here, click it, change its size to 8x10 and it pops up on the next page and or I could change it to 2x3, whatever I want. I can override what the other users are doing. So you still have access to the interface here. I can print, do anything I want. Now, let me turn this hot folder monitoring back off. One thing that's key is before you turn hot folder monitoring on, you want to make sure that your printer is set up with the right paper, all the driver settings are set properly, you have your profile down here selected if you have one, um, so that you're ready to turn it on. And fortunately, in QImage Ultimate, you can set everything up the way you want it and set the paper size, the driver options and everything. You can go here and click save, click a printer setup and give it a name like hot folders and later you can recall that printer setup and then just start the hot folder monitoring and make sure you have the proper media, enough of it uh, that you would expect to be used through the hot folder system into the printer and you should be good to go. Just keep in mind that obviously if you're printing remotely then you don't have access to the printer to tell if there was a paper jam or it ran out of ink or something like that so 
as, as this little setup dialog here says, just keep an eye on the printer and uh, um, make sure that it's running properly and you don't get anything unexpected because obviously if you're printing from another building or another computer, you may not be able to see what's coming out of the printer. I think I'll end the video with just a cool example of what you can do here. I'm just going to clear the queue, get everything ready. I know that my printer is set up. It's got the right kind of paper in it. And I'll turn on the hot folder monitoring system. And now I'm picking up my smartphone off the desk. And I'll go into ES File Explorer, which is a great little app that allows you to transfer files from your smartphone to your network. And I'm going to hold on this one image from a lunch that we had, say copy, and I'm doing this all on my smartphone now. I'll go over to the hot folder location on my hard drive, which is shared, and I'll click on the 8x10 folder, and then I'll click paste on my smartphone. And Now let's watch what happens. The image popped up automatically in QImage Ultimate. And now again on my smartphone, I'll go into that Actions folder. I'll select the, so the file that says Delete to start printing. Hit Delete on my smartphone. And watch what happens in QImage Ultimate. It starts printing. So right there, I've taken an image from my smartphone. And on the smartphone, I've queued that image up into QImage Ultimate and printed from my smartphone. So you can see how powerful this feature is. You really only need one Windows machine somewhere on your network running QImage Ultimate with the hot folder monitoring turned on and you can print from anything that can access those hot folders. So hopefully this video will help you use this feature to its best ability and we'll see you next time.